What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Necrom chapter kind of as a whole here on console, kind of give you my thoughts about it. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. If you had not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now when it comes to the Necrom chapter, I think a lot of people were anxious maybe about it, kind of worried considering Zoss has decided to change up how they do content for this year. We're not going to have a quarter three DLC. Uh, or a quarter three expansion and I think a lot of people were hoping that they were going to pile a lot of stuff into the big chapter to kind of hold you over until quarter four and I think they did a really good job of course we have two new zones to explore even though some of the areas feel a bit familiar if you ever played the Morrowind game or if you played the Morrowind expansion here in ESO some of the areas kind of look familiar but at the same time they're completely different in a lot of different ways I, I was kind of concerned about how some of the the realm was going to look when you get there and it's kind of all that green and, and you know kind of just bland look but i really did enjoy that part of uh, the zones as well but overall i feel like even though it feels familiar it also feels very new at the same time uh voice acting as always was really good the story uh, whether you're playing main story side quest the voice acting is exceptional zoss always has very good uh, voice actors that do all the different characters and it always kind of immerses you into the story itself of course we have new companions they're really uh, a good fun thing to have with you if you play solo a lot uh, of course the quest for them not a whole lot of difference in my opinion than quest we've had before but at the same time if you're into having companions if you're into getting companions it's, it's a fun experience. If you're not into companions, it's probably something that you feel like is kind of a waste in the game. That's always been not really a complaint, but a discussion in the community is if you're not a fan of companions, it feels like you're lacking some of the content there. But overall, if you're a fan of companions, of course, the two new ones are great as always. Uh, when it comes to side quests, this is the one thing that I hope Zoss in the future, as long as they continue to make ESO. We're not sure what's going to happen in the future. If we're going to continue with ESO or is us eventually going to make another ESO, maybe ESO 2 or whatever they would call it uh, in the future. But I'm hoping no matter if it's they stay with this game, make a new game, whatever the case may be, that the side quest, they get a little bit of a rework. I, I feel like the side quests are the same through every part of the game from the very start when you first start the game with the beginning zones until in, in kind of until you get into the, you know, uh, DLC expansions and all the all the stuff that you can find kind of there and in between I always feel like that the side quests are a bit monotonous they all feel the same even though the voice acting is really good for them and it has a good story to it it always feels like they're just very similar so I'm hoping in the future Zoss will kind of work on side quests because I, I would say personally for me that is the one let down in Necrom is the side quests just are not really that enjoyable to do and it doesn't really make you want to do them uh, the new class, of course, the Arcanist is a, a, a blast to play. No matter if you decide to be a healer, a tank, a DPS. I've been ranking two characters uh, right now, have a DPS and a tank, and I've really been enjoying the new abilities. A lot of people talk about how bright uh, like the colors are with all the green uh, you know, shapes and things going out, and it is a bit overwhelming at times. It kind of covers up the floor and everything else. So sometimes it's a bit uh, confusing when you're in a maybe a fight in a dungeon or something and you have a lot of stuff going out and it's covering up a lot of the uh, kind of the surroundings that you're looking at. But at the same time, I think the Arcanist is a, a really, really enjoyable class. And personally for me, I really like it, I think, better than some of the ones we've had in the past. I enjoyed the Warden and I enjoyed the Necromancer when they came out. But I was never just really, those were never really my two favorite classes because I felt like there could have been some different things done with them uh, for me personally. And I really do enjoy the uh, the Arcanist class better than I did the, the previous two classes that we received in game. Of course, that's just personal preference. But overall, I really think most people are going to enjoy the new class. I think it's the most fun I've personally had in a ESO large chapter since Somerset. Somerset set the bar to me as high as Oz could go. And I don't know if they'll ever have a new chapter that is good as Somerset. Hopefully they will. But I feel like Somerset was the pinnacle of, of Zoss's voice acting, content, look, everything. Everything about Somerset just worked. I do feel like Necrom is close, though, and Necrom is probably, like I said, this is, of course, personal opinion yet again, but for me, 
Necrom is the best chapter they have done since Somerset. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you out there on PC have been playing for a while, especially if you've been playing on the test server. But for us here on console, we've not had access to the new chapter very long. I just kind of want to give you my thoughts on how the game plays and what I think about exactly uh, all about the, I guess, chapter in general here on console for Xbox and PlayStation. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.